Right, guys, um, I'm sorry that... First off, I'm sorry that this is, you know, really bad quality, but um, I'm just trying to get my laptop configured to run properly with XSplit, you know, um, like screen broadcasting, things like that. But basically, this is um, my method that I use to create bot lobbies on Gears of War Judgment. Now, I'm aware that there are other methods, such as um, zone, zone Alarm, and I think is using an IP blocker to stop people from connecting to you. But this method basically is based around the fact that there's plenty of players online, therefore loads of games, and decreases the chance of someone joining your lobby. But that's okay because if someone does join your lobby and you've got this method down to a T, you can just back out, create yourself a new lobby, jobs are good. Now first off, you've got to have a program called NetTools. Uh, you can you can download this um, on like soft PDR. Just type into Google NetTools 5 download and follow the download instructions. But I would make sure you download it from soft PDR because it's always virus free and it's I just I, I always download my programs from there. Then once you've done that, you set it up, install it onto your computer, and then you open it and you go to start network tools and scroll all the way down till you find a program called UDP flutter now you open UDP flutter and it'll pop up with a little box on the screen like this and in the top box it'll have um, an IP address now what you want to do is change that IP address to 27.27.27.27 and then in the box below it it say, says data once now highlight data then copy and paste data for 30 seconds, between 30 to 35 seconds. This basically allows you to lag up, lag up your connection, making it harder for Gears of War or the servers to match you into a game with other people. Now, once you've done that, right at the bottom, it has a speed bar. What you want to do is click the speed bar, the um, like, the basically that's just the various speeds that the program itself runs at you maximize it to 10 that's the highest it can go then what you want to do is go to your xbox like your xbox screen and basically pick a map pick a map um, like pick a game type that you would you wish to play and what you want to do is say uh, I'm going for you know VIP execution because it's it's it does pay like you know really good XP and I'm using double XP tickets so you know that's maximizing the amount of experiences I can gain. Then once you've done that, you press you press select um, quit match. Now once you've done that, you've got to press start on your computer. So it's You've got to time. You've got to time it right. I mean, it all depends on how strong your connection is to Xbox Live or how good your connection is from your service provider. But this is the method I use, so you may have to toy around with it to get it to suit your connection. But anyway, here goes. Hopefully, this should work straight off. So basically, what I've done is I've pressed start. Now, basically, what you got to get, what you've got to get it to do, on here, is get it to say um, no suitable matches found five times. Now, in between, it'll say check quality, say zero out of nine matches. Now, it's okay to press stop um, on match on matches found of less than five. I find, otherwise. There's a high risk of it um, posting you into a game. Now, every time it says no suitable match is found, press stop. But the split, I mean the split second that it says check quality out of any number of matches, no matter what it is, press start immediately to stop it from putting you into a game. Now, once it's done that, you just keep repeating the process. Now, if you look here, it says zero out of nine matches. So, at this point, it's okay to stop. It just stops you from lagging up your connection too much where it kicks you off Xbox Live. It allows it to your connection to recover and re-strengthen your signal. Now, I'm going to restart the search now. Restart the start now. Now, press stop. Start, stop. 
Now, if you look here, it says zero out of fifty. Um, it says out of fifteen matches. Now, that usually appears after no suitable matches could be found has been displayed five times. Now, once it's done that, you can you can stop your um, your UDP flutter. You can stop that and then just sit back and wait for the game to start. So I just sat here waiting for the game to start. And if I press back up, you'll notice that I'm into a bottle of it on my own. Right there. And well yeah um, comment rate and subscribe I am sorry about the quality I am looking to I will if I can make a better quality video but I hope this video helps you and remember that it all depends on your signal to Xbox Live or your connection and basically you've just got you basically you've got to time it right but hopefully this video has been of help and should give you some idea as what to do when you're trying to create a bot lobby for, you, say, you and your friends. So if this video helps you, please drop a like and see you next time.